Tonight, the federal government making history in its attack on the fentanyl crisis. We're going to hear from the U.S. Attorney General and a challenge to Washington's ban on certain types of guns now receiving a second setback in court. And some parts of our area could get a light show for the first weekend of summer as we're taking a live look at Toppenish tonight. Cap gave you Stacey Lee is live in Kennewick with the details coming up. Now, Cap gave you local news at five. Good evening and thanks for joining us. I'm Alyssa Warner. The city of Yakima is struggling with a projected $7 million shortfall starting in 2025. They're looking to make a 10% budget cut as soon as possible. The Yakima police chief says for his department, which takes up 46% of the city's budget, that would mean cutting 11 police officer positions. They're also looking at cutting their fingerprinting service, crime-free housing program, and the in-home detention program. Where it's, which is an alternative to jail, where defendants can wear an ankle bracelet, but still work and be a support for their families. It's important that folks know this isn't like beating a drum. This is real. This is, this is going to happen unless there's a change in income. We have to, by state law, we have to balance the budget. They've already eliminated a services manager position. They are planning to end fingerprinting and the in-home detention program starting in July. We're going to talk more about the future of this coming up tonight at 6. Now, Washington Attorney General Bob Ferguson says a Superior Court judge has allowed Washington's ban on selling assault weapons to remain in place while legal challenges play out. State lawmakers, you'll recall, approved this ban, which includes a long list of guns that are no longer legal to make or sell in Washington. Unless you want to get rid of one that you already own, then you can decide to sell it to a gun dealer. The law went into effect right away when Governor Inslee signed it back in April. Ferguson says this is the second ruling within a matter of weeks to keep the law active during the court process. Earlier this month, a federal judge agreed to keep the ban in place as well. Just into our newsroom this evening, police are investigating a deadly shooting in Sunnyside. Authorities say a man in his 30s is dead. Police were called to a shooting on 6th Street in Sunnyside around 6.30 last night. That's where they found the victim. The Yakima County coroner says the man died of what he calls homicidal violence. But we won't know more than that until an autopsy, and that's scheduled for next week. We also have new information tonight. The judge presiding over the University of Idaho quadruple murder case says he will allow cameras continued access to the courtroom, although he could change his mind in the future. Lawyers for Brian Koberger, who is charged with the murders, say allowing cameras in the courtroom is jeopardizing Koberger's right to a fair trial because of scrutiny online. But a group of media organizations argued in court that access to the hearings provides the public the best depiction of what happens in that criminal process. Koberger's trial is set for October. As we are approaching one year since the Supreme Court overturned Roe versus Wade, leaving abortion access up to state governments, a judge has now blocked a state law in Wyoming. Now, while other states have just banned abortion outright, Wyoming was the first to ban using the pill specifically. Again, that law is now on hold. Wyoming's constitution specifically says that people have the right to make their own health care decisions. And the state has been arguing that abortions are not health care because the state says pregnancy is not a disease. This is almost certain to remain a significant issue headed into the 2024 election cycle. ABC's Justin Finch has a look at how lawmakers are already making their positions clear. Saturday will mark one year since the Supreme Court's 6-3 decision reversing Roe v. Wade federal abortion protections. Today, some 25 million women of childbearing age now live in states where abortions are now harder to get. President Biden signing an executive order Friday calling for federal agencies to help expand Americans' access to low-cost contraception. And we'll make sure that a woman can access what she needs to take care of herself. The order largely seen as symbolic as federal law already requires insurers cover FDA approved contraception. In Washington, the president and vice president attending a reproductive rights event and earning early endorsements from pro-abortion access groups, including Planned Parenthood. Today, 20 Democratic-leaning states have protected abortion access, while more than a dozen Republican-led states have some kind of abortion restriction policies in place or pending, with 13 enacting near or total bans. My understanding is 
Babies deserve equal protection. Last fall on ABC News, Washington Post poll found more than 60% of Americans polled opposed the court's decision. Former House Speaker Nancy Pelosi daring Republicans to take up legislation that would restore abortion protections. Are they afraid of their constituents? They're going to have a lot more to fear in the next election. Across the aisle, former vice president and current Republican presidential candidate Mike Pence doubling down. Every Republican candidate for president should support a ban on abortion before 15 weeks. And Vice President Harris is set to observe one year since the Supreme Court's abortion decision with a major speech on reproductive rights in North Carolina. Justin Finch, ABC News, Washington. Today, the federal government made history, announcing charges against companies and people blamed for fueling the fentanyl crisis in the United States. Listen to this. In three separate indictments, we have charged, for the first time ever, four chemical companies based in China and eight Chinese nationals for the trafficking of fentanyl precursor chemicals into the United States. Now, the New York Times reports two of those suspects have already been arrested. This is part of an overall strategy to block fentanyl at every stage of the supply chain. And today, the Biden administration announced nearly $200 million being invested in expanding high-speed Internet access in Washington state. Senator Maria Cantwell says that money will help tens of thousands of families get connected. It's something that the state first announced in May, but now the federal side of the funding has officially come through. While a lot of that funding is going towards projects on the west side and on the peninsula, Franklin County PUD will be getting more than $4.8 million for expanding access to homes in Connell and Basin City, and Yakima County will be getting more than $11 million for their WSBO 2022 project. Now, for right now, we need to get outside. Stacy Lee is joining us with your Cap KV first alert weather forecast. Looks like you guys are having fun out there. Quick this afternoon, beautiful weather outside. You couldn't ask for a better afternoon. So a lot going on and we've got an interview. We're gonna to talk to some ladies down here and tell you exactly what's going on in downtown Kennewick. It's gonna be a lot of fun. So if you're looking for something to do this weekend, we're gonna get you set up with that. Let's take a look at our weather though and those temperatures outside. Like I said, it has warmed up this afternoon. We've been seeing temperatures teetering just below 90 and we hit 90 degrees in the Tri-Cities. And again, uh, nice and warm all around the region. Uh, if we uh, move forward and take a look at those breezy winds, those winds have really started to pick up here just in the last half an hour or so. So breezy to gusty winds, those will continue tonight and we'll see them even breezier for tomorrow. Here's what's coming up the next couple of days. It's going to be clear, warm and breezy, as I said tonight, gusts up to 30 miles an hour. Mountain showers with thunderstorms possible tonight. We've been seeing some thunder and lightning in Ellensburg and we're going to see some more of those headed our way uh, in the Kittitas uh, Valley and the east slopes of the Blues there. Fire danger remains high this weekend, be fire wise. Otherwise, it's going to be gorgeous out there. And we'll get to uh, tell you about what's going on here with Girls Weekend in downtown Kennewick. I'm Stacy Lee, live in Kennewick for Cap Cave View News. Thanks, Stacy. Tonight, thousands of Starbucks workers are planning to go on strike over the coming week. The union says it's because of pride decorations. Starbucks workers united posted a letter on Twitter this morning saying they're responding to what they call the company's decision to alter or terminate pride decoration policies without union input. The union says some managers have moved or changed pride displays, citing safety concerns. It's been kind of an issue this year. Starbucks says it hasn't changed any of its policies about pride and that its support for LGBTQ plus causes hasn't changed either. Chemical manufacturer 3M has agreed to pay at least $10.3 billion to settle lawsuits over contamination of many American public drinking water systems with potentially harmful compounds known as PFOS. That deal would compensate water providers for pollution with these substances, which is a class of chemicals that are used for nonstick water and grease resistance products, including clothing, and cookware. The compounds have been detected at varying levels in drinking water all around the nation. It's a big problem here in eastern Washington. And the Environmental Protection Agency in March proposed strict limits on two common types of PFAS. It said it wanted to regulate for others. 
Making headlines across America tonight, a stretch of I-95, which is the main north-south highway on the East Coast, has reopened less than two weeks after a crash and a fire collapsed six lanes of the road. Usually, the repair process for something this size takes months, but officials say they came up with a temporary fix to keep the traffic flowing. Mr. Mayor, they said it couldn't be done, you know. They say a lot of things. When I stood here 12 <laughs> days ago, I must say there was a pessimism in the air. One that I believe has lingered in this city and in this Commonwealth for far too long. And today, all of us here together prove them wrong. So how did they make this happen? Well, laborers worked around the clock to repair the overpass. This is the damage from just a couple of weeks ago. They used glass nuggets to fill in the underpass, and then they just paved right over the top. We're told eventually crews will go back in and build a new bridge. But of course, that process will actually take months at the very least. Now, if you're traveling through SeaTac this weekend, be prepared for delays. Seattle Tacoma International Airport tweeted out this morning. They are busy. They're expecting potentially their busiest day ever today. They followed that up this afternoon to say if you are going through security this afternoon or this evening, plan on spending extra time there. Get to the airport early if you can, because you are going to have a lot of company. Now here in our area, if you're looking for a new job opportunity, the Walla Walla VA is hosting a job fair this weekend. The Jonathan M. Wainwright Memorial VA Medical Center is hiring for all of its locations, including Richland, Union Gap, Boardman, and Walla Walla. The hospital is looking for nurses, health technicians, social workers, housekeeping aides, and more. That job fair starts at 9 o'clock tomorrow morning. It goes until 2 p.m. in the lobby of the medical center. You can bring your resume, three to five references, and get an interview on the spot. We have more information on our website, yaktrynews.com. And it is going to be a beautiful weekend throughout our area, but we are talking about the chance of potentially some storms and some lightning that you could see flash around the region. So we're taking a live look at Toppenish. Stacey Lee joins us again in just a moment from downtown Kennewick with a look at what to expect. Still ahead, we are taking you inside a new business that has just held its grand opening. And it has a twist that has uh, got us talking here in the newsroom. Plus, Cap TV Local News and Rick's Custom Fencing and Decking are hosting the Great American Flag Swap this coming Tuesday. You can bring your used flag into Rick's in Kennewick and swap it for a brand new one. As part of the celebration, they will be serving free barbecue. It all starts at 11 o'clock at Rick's Custom Fencing and Decking coming up on Tuesday. Tonight, what happened to the Titan sub? We're still working to develop the details for the timeline. The latest on the investigation. More Americans turn to the most watched program on television. World News Tonight with David Muir. Our phones keep us constantly connected. Can you switch to airplane mode? But what if they had a mode to help us actually connect? Introducing what Us Mode, a mode that makes our phones less distracting so we can focus on quality time. Moments. So the notifications we get are the ones that matter. So we're never distracted from what's most important. Visit US Cellular in-store or online to set up US Mode for free, even if you're not a customer. US Cellular, built for us. When you need legal help, trust Quantum Legal. We're here for you in times of trouble, whether you need assistance with criminal defense, personal injury, or have been injured on the job. Law is a complicated matter. Our team of experts will fight for you and help you find the best solution for your situation. Don't let ICE challenges get the best of you. We're here to help. Call us today at 509-783-5551 or visit our website at quantumlegal.com. Now's the time to get a great deal on select Kubota equipment. Part of the number one rated tractor brand for durability and owner experience in the U.S., they offer the versatility and reliability to get the job done right, all year round. Right now at participating dealers, get a Kubota compact tractor for zero down, 0% zero APR for 84 months. Find a Kubota dealer near you at GoKubota.com. 
The pursuit of happiness starts with a good night's sleep. It's your patriotic right to get fantastic savings on premium quality mattress sets. We source from local manufacturers to get the finest quality and comfort at the lowest price. During our Patriot sale, you'll get amazing values. Like $3.99 for a queen-size Sealy plush mattress. Or an adjustable bed for $9.99. To celebrate, come to Mattress Depot USA. Before our Patriot sale ends. Low prices every day. Mattress Depot USA. Don't miss the Battle of the Brands Northwest Spa Sale. Save up to 50% off hot tubs and swim spas. From competing brands fighting for your business. Easy financing, immediate delivery, and Sunday at Kennewick's Columbia Center Mall and WSpaSale.com. Portion of Cap KV sponsored by Lord's Health and Trio's Health, making communities healthier. Welcome back. The downtown Yakima Farmer's Market is gearing up to leave 3rd Street, where it's been operating for more than 20 years. Cap KV's Emily Goodell tells us the market will be having its grand opening in its new home this weekend. This is the brand new Rotary Marketplace located just off of West Yakima Avenue near the train tracks. Marketplace officials say that the best part so far is the shade. They say having that shade will make a big difference when the weather starts to heat up helping both vendors and visitors cool down. The new space also gives the markets more than 50 vendors access to on-site water and power for the first time. Everybody uses water in some capacity to keep their produce from wilting. And so being able to have that available without having to go in the ground and really deal with a lot of <laughs> stretching to get to it is really quite nice. This Sunday is also Kids Day, where local nonprofits and businesses show up with activities and games for kids. They're also launching their new Veggie Valet program, where shoppers can borrow wagons to help them get their purchases back to their cars. They say they're still finishing up with lighting, landscaping, and a couple of other small projects, but everything is ready for the downtown Yakima Farmer's Market this weekend on Sunday from 9 to 1. Reporting in Yakima, Emily Goodell, Cap KVU, Local News. Thanks, Emily. Here in the Tri-Cities, a new local business had its grand opening this morning. Bubbly Boba is planning a weekend full of fun. The owners have goodie bags for those who come celebrate while supplies last, and they're also giving out more than $100 in gift cards. Now, there's only a couple of other local boba shops in town, so the owners set out to bring a different experience to the community. So we decided to... Uh, look at other options and boba was one of them and I thought that that was a good idea and since there's not very many local boba shops here in the Tri-Cities uh, there is a lot of franchises uh, that we decided to put our foot in the race and, and go for it. Bubbly Boba is off of Clearwater in Kennewick if you want to go sh check it out. Now this weekend is all about the ladies in downtown Kennewick. It is girls weekend and this event brings 33 businesses together. It offers workshops, activities, and even deals. You can join the twist plant hanger class or learn art techniques from professionals. There will also be jewelry, craft, craft studios, tarot readings, live music, food, drinks, wine slushies, of course. Organizers say this is a great way to have fun in the community, and that is where we find Cap K Views Stacy Lee tonight. Now, Cap K View First Alert Weather with Stacy Lee. And good afternoon. Yes, we are live today downtown Kennewick. It's Girls Weekend in downtown Kennewick. With me is Stephanie Button with Historic Downtown Kennewick. And again, tell us what's going on this weekend here. So this weekend, it's Girls Weekend tonight until 9 o'clock, tomorrow 10 to 6. We want you to come downtown, pick up a Girls Weekend passport from Red Mountain Kitchen, and visit all the fantastic businesses in downtown. If you fill out this awesome black uh, bingo card, you can enter to win a drawing prize valued at over $800. Don't worry, there's a second place at 250. We've got classes, workshops, there's deals, there's live music, there's so many fun things to do. Don't have FOMO. Come to downtown Kennewick on this beautiful June weekend. That's right. And they're going to be here till 9 o'clock tonight, 10 to 6 tomorrow. And best of all, it's free. Weather's cooperating with us for this downtown event. Let's check out those current temperatures around the area. Finally made it up to 90 degrees today in the Tri-Cities. Again, nice and warm, uh, mostly uh, 80s for the entire rest of the area. Uh, satellite and radar, well, we've got 
got an upper level low that's creating instability in the area. We've been tracking some lightning in the Kittitas Valley, Ellensburg area earlier today, and we could see some more potential thunder and lightning in the Blue Mountains as well as the Cascades again. Let's check out those winds right now. Again, those winds have kicked up this afternoon, which increases fire danger around the area. So again, we want to be fire wise. Uh, check out your screen. We've got some fire safety pointers for you for wildland fires. Again, we don't have a red flag warning just yet, but we are very elevated with fire danger this weekend. Uh, our overnight lows tonight looking pretty good. It's going to be in the 50s and even uh, 60 degrees, so pretty mild and pleasant for your evening. Tomorrow, look for those breezy winds once again. Those winds even gustier than they're going to be this afternoon. Uh, and again, uh, look for uh, temperatures uh, in the 80s and 90s. Moving forward, let's take a look at those temperatures again tomorrow. I said 80s, 90s. And then our three-day forecast in Walla Walla. It's going to be nice in Walla Walla. The town's so nice they named it twice in the 80s there. Tri-Cities, it's going to be beautiful here as well. Again, we're going to be cruising up to 90, and we'll start hitting the 90s as we move into next week. In Yakima, a nice breezy Saturday for you with temperatures in the 80s, calmer winds on Sunday, and those nice warm temperatures. Stay with us. We'll get to the full seven-day planning forecast in just a bit. Stacy Lee live in Kennewick for Cap KVU News. Thanks so much, Stacey. And coming up next, the events just don't stop. Tonight, we are previewing a sale with a good cause. We don't just mean saving money. That's next. Portion of Cap KVU sponsored by Lord's Health and Trio's Health, making communities healthier. My mom hired Bath Fitter to make me a new bath. My friend Jimmy said that when he got a new bath, it took forever. Jimmy didn't have to take a bath for a month. I didn't even get to miss one bath. It's just not fair. Bath Fitter will remodel your bath in as little as one day. We've got over 2 million satisfied customers and 35 years experience. Call now or visit bathfitter.com for a free in-home consultation. Sundown M Ranch promotes patient-centered integrated care that focuses on the mind, body, and spirit. At Sundown M Ranch, the patient is the reason we are here. We take pride in our reputation of assisting individuals and family members through a difficult process with compassion, respect, and confidentiality. Sundown M Ranch saved my life. Last month, I celebrated 31 years of sobriety. Sundown M Ranch. Today is the first day of the rest of your life. So much of life happens at home, which is why your home should be a place of inspiration designed around great floors you love. Spending time at home on great floors is something to celebrate. Great Floors is offering discounts on select top quality Mohawk products. Save 10% on Revwood Flooring. Revwood Flooring by Mohawk offers stress-free style so you can live life on floors you love. Plus, ask about your 12-month 0% in-house financing. Visit a Great Floors showroom for details and live life on great floors. Are you making these money mistakes that will ruin your employees? Act rich, get rich. It's new, it's gross, it's Spitcoin. Crypto, baby! Are you wondering how am I making money? How am I traveling the world and just living my best life? Well, it's pretty easy, okay? See what I mean? Let's talk about managing your money in real life. Thank you. Find a healthier approach to money at Giza. Reel in a fortune during the $200,000 fishing for a fortune at Wild Horse Resort and Casino. With over $7,000 in cash and prizes every Friday and Saturday. Cash your line and win up to $750 free play, $1,000 cash, or hook a new Pro Lodge boat. Multiply your entries, use your club wild card to earn points, and win special prizes from Billy's Bait Shop. Reel in your next fortune today. Wild Horse Resort and Casino, Pendleton, Oregon. More winners, more often. Don't miss the Battle of the Brands Northwest Spa Sale. Save up to 50% off hot tubs and swim spas. From competing brands fighting for your business. Easy financing. Immediate delivery. And Sunday at Kennewick's Columbia Center Mall. MWSpaSale.com. To see some great deals and help out a great cause in the community. Repeat Boutique in Richland is hosting a sidewalk sale today and tomorrow. You get the opportunity to see high quality footwear, clothing, home goods, even more than that. And the proceeds of the sale all go towards funding Hospice House and other bereavement programs. 
The Chaplaincy Healthcare officials tell us the shoppers get more than just great deals. This is really an opportunity to help the community. Community with this store. Um, personally, I think about, I just think about how many people we touch. So it's, it's not only the sales that are happening in the store, but it's, it's someone that walks in that didn't know about uh, hospice care or learned something about end of life care while they were shopping. And if that has happened, then we've, we've done our job. So it's, I think our ultimate goal is really community awareness with the store. So this sidewalk sale goes through tomorrow at Repeat Boutique. That is at 1331 George Washington Way in Richland. We're talking about great weather here in the Tri-Cities for your weekend. Stacey Lee will have one more check on that, plus your seven-day forecast coming up. Matt Frazier, America's top psychic medium. Now a joke from York's Fresh Murder. What did the tomato say to his son when they were racing? Catch up! <laughs> Our phones keep us constantly connected, but what if they had a mode to help us actually connect? To limit screen time, but not quality time. And to give us rhythm, instead of algorithms. Introducing Us Mode. Set your phone for human connection at U.S. Cellular. Stan, where's Alice? She's supposed to stay with us! Oh shoot, where could she? Hey everybody, I'm Alice. I'm new here. The new zipline ride looks so fun. You go back and forth. Awesome. And we've lost control of the Alice situation. Triple Play has fun for everyone, including the brand new zipline ride. And it's all attached to a cozy hotel. I mean, she's a natural spokesaur who isn't tempted to eat anyone. Uh... You know, cause she's an herbivore. When you need legal help, trust Quantum Legal. We're here for you in times of trouble, whether you need assistance with criminal defense, personal injury, or have been injured on the job. Law is a complicated matter. Our team of experts will fight for you and help you find the best solution for your situation. Don't let ICE challenges get the best of you. We're here to help. Call us today at 509-783-5551 or visit our website at quantumlegal.com. Come shop the largest selection of RVs in the Tri-Cities at Appleway RV. See big on Class A's, Class C's, travel trailers, toy haulers, and fifth wheels. Shop America's top brands, Rockwood, Tiffin, Newmar, Dynamax, and more with a huge selection of pre-owned RVs. Plus, get maximum value for your trade, all with no payments for 90 days. Come shop the clearance event at Appleway RV Pasco. At Good Shepherd, it is not just a job. It is our mission. A mission to improve the health of our community. To give you our hearts, our minds, our compassion. The best technology available and the greatest medicine of all, kindness. Thank you for trusting us with your care. We're all here to talk about her. Hello. We built her so we could get a family plan. Well, with U.S. Cellular, it's just $29.99 per line. I guess we don't need that fourth line. This is awkward. U.S. Cellular, built for us. And now a joke from Yolk's Fresh Market. Why is a hamburger so lucky? Because it's on a roll. <laughs> Welcome back. The Tri-Cities Diversity and Inclusion Council is hosting the Red, Black, Red and Black on the Green Youth Scholarship Fundraiser on Saturday. The scholarship fundraiser supports youth education in the Tri-Cities and surrounding areas by providing educational opportunities. You can dress in your best red and black attire for a night of wine, soul food, music, and poetry. The event will be at Frechette Winery at, in Benton City starting at 6.30, and it's a way to bring a positive impact on your community. Having a positive impact on our community tonight, Stacy Lee is live in Kennewick with a look at your first alert weather forecast. 
Thanks, Alyssa. Again, girls weekend here in historic downtown Kennewick till 9 o'clock tonight, 10 to 6 tomorrow. Get the free bingo card and have a great time. Let's check out those seven-day forecasts for you there. Tri-Cities again looking great going into the weekend. We are seeing some active weather tonight uh, in the Yakima and Ellensburg area. In fact, speaking of Yakima tomorrow, uh, or excuse me, the next seven days, we're going to see pretty nice weather. However, we do have gusty winds headed our way on Saturday. And again, our elevated fire danger Sunday looking good. And then we start to warm up as we move through the week. So again, be fire wise this weekend and enjoy the beautiful weather. Uh, again, we will get I'll get back in studio here in just a bit and we'll update you on uh, the rain and thunder activity going on in the Yakima and Kittitas Valley this evening. But for now, I am live in downtown Kennewick. It's girls weekend. Stacy Lee live for Cap Cave View. Thanks, Stacey. We were just mentioning that kind of rainy, stormy weather in Yakima. We're seeing that from our sky camera in Toppenish. Uh, we're seeing just rain on the lens there. We're kind of tracking storms through the region tonight. So again, we'll have an update for you at 6.